Hey everybody, Patrick here from One Shot Kilo Media in the new studio. And uh, today I'm excited to bring you a quick unboxing here of the new Rock Island Armory M1911 A1 FS Tactical Single Stack chambered in 45 ACP. So let's go ahead and pop this box open. All right, everybody, so here we go. Let's unbox the Arms Corps Rock Island Armory M1911 A1 TAC Ultra FS model. Here we go. Ooh, boy. All right, so that's a sexy looking pistol, as you can see right off the bat here. Uh, let's just take a look and see what comes in the box. So we've got one of the, uh, the Rock Island Armory magazines, and that's an eight round magazine single stack we've got the pistol itself here and uh yeah that thing is gorgeous i'm gonna take this little tag off here quick too looks like we've got some fired casings here just to show that it's functioning and that it was tested at the factory Maybe if you live in a state where you need to have your cases on file, because that's what freedom is. Uh, let's take a look here. We've got a little owner's manual here as well. If you can see that. And warranty registration card. All right. So just some different information on what you should and shouldn't do if you want your warranty to stay intact and the card that you fill in to send in. We've got the pistol again, one magazine, it's clear. Let's go ahead and just feel what that trigger pull feels like. Oh, that's smooth. Nice straight back trigger pull. Let's see if I can get that zoomed in for you quick. Very, very smooth. Let's see here, I'm gonna try to just get, uh, let's see if I can just get this clear for you in the camera frame. Not much of a trigger pull needed for that one. That is light, smooth, and very, very nice. All right, so let's take a look at a few other features of this, this gun itself. Uh, so again, 1911 tactical model. So what we're looking at here, we've got some very, very aggressive grip styling, which I really like. You've got little circles right here, and then those kind of fade off into a longer, just serrated sort of long edge which is pretty cool uh, you've got some checkering on the back strap here you got a little bit of a, a serrated edge on that hammer makes it easier to pull back that's nice uh, let's take a look here safety real smooth operation on that um, let's take a look at our mag release here we see that that's checkered as well as the slide release and then it looks like the trigger itself is adjustable there's a little screw in there. Let's see if that picks up on camera for us. Uh, also a nice Rock Island Armory logo, I like that. Let's take a look at the rest of this here. So we do have some nice sights that are included on this. And as you can see, you got your white dots in the back, red dot in the front. And I'm just gonna see if we can get that even closer zoomed in for you. Nice. I've always been a fan of this sort of configuration for sights, makes target acquisition easy for me um, in comparison to using just like the black blade sights I've had on other guns. So I really do like what they did with the sights here. I think that's nice. And one of my most favorite features that I've seen on this gun is this built-in rail. Not only does it look badass, I just love the design of that. Um, but, you know, it adds more utility to it. You can mount a flashlight to it, you can mount a laser to it a little easier than uh, just using, you know, like, grip lasers and anything along those lines. And, uh, yeah, overall it just looks really nice. Now, just taking a look here too, the fit and finish of this 1911 is fantastic. Um, I'm just trying to get this zoomed in here quick so you can really see it up close. But there really is not much of any wobble from slide to frame. So very, very tight finish on there. Very tight fit. But yeah, very nice overall. Got a little uh, magwell there, which is kind of cool. I like how they added that in there. 
makes it easier to find that place to put your mag if you're trying to do it fast. There we go. No messing around. You just get it, you get it in there. But yeah, let's take a look at it like this here. So it looks like if you take a look on the inside, kind of hard to see if I can get this to focus for you, but it looks like the ramp is already polished, which is really nice. I, I don't, for, for myself, any 1911 that I've had prior, I've had to polish the hell out of that feed ramp <laughs> just to make some of them feed properly here and there over the years. Uh, but it looks like Rock Island Arms Corps did a nice job of getting that polished up and ready to go right off the bat. Uh, so that's impressive. I, I like to see things like that. Um, let's try the slide release here just to see what it looks like. All right, so that's solid. Very nice. Try it on this side here for you too, just so you can see from the other angle. So solid. I like that. And yeah, I mean overall again, just wiggling this gun around, I mean, you get a very, very, very slight wobble, but I don't think for the price you could expect anything better in terms of a 1911 for fit and finish. Uh, I just really think that they knocked this one out of the park. So thoroughly impressed with this gun so far. Uh, I cannot wait to hit the range with it and uh, just kind of see what we can do with her from there. Very, very nice. Arms Corps, Rock Island Armory. This is 1911, or I should say the uh, M1911A1 FS Tactical or TAC Ultra FS model. All right, folks, so let's give you a, one last trigger pull just to see what you think of it. Ready, here we go. <laughs> oh, I love that. I cannot wait to hit the range with this thing. All right, everybody. So let's go ahead and get her back, uh, get her box back up here again. And part of what we'll be doing here when we're testing this gun out is using this Arms Corps USA 45 ACP 230 grain ammunition. So I'm excited to try this out as well. Uh, they look like they're, you know, well-made rounds overall. You know, so just your standard full metal jacket, but excited to see what we can do with this pistol and with the ammunition that comes from the same, uh, same factory there, same company. So we'll go ahead, give it a try, and let you know what we think overall. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. Let's go ahead and wrap up here. As always, thank you for tuning in. I always appreciate you watching my videos. And uh, if you could, please hit that subscribe button. The only way we can continue to grow as a channel here is if we have subscribers. That helps me create relationships with manufacturers like Rock Island, Arms Corps, and uh, all the other ones that are out there. So if you want to see more content, more information on the, the pistols, the rifles, and the products that you really like or that you're thinking about purchasing, Hit that subscribe button so we can go ahead and keep bringing you more content. All right, everybody, this is Patrick from One Shot Killer Media. Thank you again for tuning in. Have a great day. We'll see you again soon.